My name's Tim, I old party head, been in the party scene for a long, long time and I'm somebody who's realised that there's a huge community, global community of party goers who are all very, very connected. Honestly, any any multinational corporation would be envious of the corporation that is the party community. So with this in mind, uh, I'm part of a group that set up GeoParadise and GeoParadise is a platform to allow artists, thinkers, movers and groovers to come together and to do something to make a difference um, for our planet. To share sustainable ideas, creative ideas, and to do all this through events. So we hold these events, the events raise funds, all the artists and movers and groovers and thinkers, they come together at these events, they network, they share experience um, with themselves, but also with the, the people who come to the events and the locals uh, who live in the areas where the events happen and uh, the events raise cash, uh, they raise awareness uh, and the cash and the awareness is then kind of utilised to carry on projects throughout the year in those areas where the events are held. Initially it was just going to be a party <laughs> um, but, but it changed, it's evolved, it's turned into something just bigger than we could have ever dreamt of really. We arrived on site, um, having communicated, having spent pretty much the better part of the year communicating with people we'd never met over the internet about doing a, an event here. And we had this vague idea that we were going to work with the local school association, raise them a bit of cash, give them some money at the end of the event, all go home and hopefully count our cash, something like that. Um, the journey from, from that point to this, is, 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 it's been incredible, it's just transformation uh, on a daily basis. It's, it's moved on, it's changed, it's evolved, different people have come in with different ideas and, 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 and you know, we're so flexible, it's great, it's lovely, I've really got into just going with the flow, if you like. Um, so on arriving here, initially we were kind of showing a bit of land up in the jungle, which is really, really inappropriate space to put an event on. And I, I was really nervous. We, we've been speaking with people all year about coming here, so people are about to land from all over the world to come and work together and, and volunteer their services and their energy and their talents and skills um, to this event. We walked into the village, I uh, saw this football pitch and was like, <gasps> let's bring the event into the village. We spoke with the villagers. They were, they were super stoked about the idea of bringing the event into the village. And, and, and everything's just moved on incredibly. The, the, the village are now an integral part of what we're doing here. We're working hand in hand with them. They're, they're sharing their knowledge and skills with us. We're sharing our knowledge and skills with them. They're helping build the structures. They're, they're involved in the process of, of, of well, every stage of the process of, of, of the event. So, so what's happening here now is, is this, the school association and the agricultural association are both getting 10% of net of the ticket sales go straight to them, bang, it's theirs, and they do with it as they see fit. But we're also setting up a communal garden so that next year the event, which is going to be delayed until Easter, will be fed from the communal garden. We have other projects going on as well where we're, we're talking about, I'm not allowed to tell anyone this, but there, there's going to be uh, a few computers turned up that we're going to donate to the school, but honestly, no one's supposed to know yet, it's a secret. Uh, we're donating them uh, a television and old video player so they can kind of watch uh, documentaries and, and educational films and stuff like that as well. Um, all the volunteers who are here are, have, have been welcomed by the community and they all really you know, feel that they are part of this community and, and, and it's, it's amazing to see what's happened. Um, we, we started off with the event and the idea of making this first one Kind of really small. Um, we've maybe 500 people, something like this. And the idea is, is, is that we all learn to manage 500 people in enjoying this event. And then hopefully the next event might be a thousand people. But because we've all managed together, these 500 people will feel a bit more confident as to the steps we need to take as a community in order to kind of manage a thousand people, which hopefully we'll get at the next year's event. Um, where it is, we're going to get a few more people at this event, but, but that, that's fine. I think we'll still be able to kind of manage it. So, so there's like an organic process of how this is all coming together and how it's going to carry on moving. 
and we're being really careful not to actually direct it in any one direction but to allow the volunteers who are here to really kind of come into their own self-management and to, 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 to make decisions about what goes where, how things will be constructed and the, the methodology behind how, how this whole organisation is working here in CNIA.